Hey everyone, this is a nail tutorial for this design. It is so easy to do. I absolutely love it. Um, it's basically like a burgundy red with silver and sparkles and then a gem in the middle. So, this is what you'll basically be needing. I'm using my NYC Broadway Burgundy Frost and it's such a pretty color. Please mind the noise in the back. I'm also using my similar colors in sparkly silver and I'm also using my NYC starry silver and starry silver and I really really love this design so much it's so easy a lot of people probably know how to do this but it's really cute for like special occasions and stuff um so this is basically a French manicure but kind of a little bit of a twist to it and um, I'm sure that some of you may have seen my friend Hillary's video on YouTube about how she takes care of her nails. So this is sort of like a video response to that, but I didn't really video response, which is weird. But yeah, um, what I use in my nails, I exfoliate my hands, my exfoliating hand um, cream, and it has pomice in it, and it makes it really soft and smell really good. And then after I'm done with that, like when I scrub it with a nail scrubber, then I use the moisturizer. That's for it. And it smells so, 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 so good. And then I file my nails like how she does. And then, yeah. Just letting you know. Anyway, so I'm going to do it on this nail. And you're going to need to put your base coat on first, but I don't want to do that on a fake nail. And then you're also going to put on a top coat when you're done with everything. So, we'll make, and if you want to see the design, please stay tuned. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to put on a base coat because, well, yeah. But instead, I'm probably just going to put on my nail nourisher. This is what I also use on my nails to make them stronger and a little bit um, healthier, I guess. So I'm going to put a little bit of that, and when we come back, we'll get started. Okay, so after that, you're going to want to put your burgundy color on. You could do this so many ways, it's not even funny. Because you could do it slanted with a gem, and it might look really adorable. Um, you could do like a V effect coming down this way in the middle with a gem at the point part. So I'm just going to put it more simple and just do it across because you don't want to overdo it. And plus, since this is a long, long, long nail, just going to make the tip a little bit longer. Try to make that as straight as possible. If you can't, um, you could, um, I would suggest using one of those stencils that you stick on the nail and it helps you get like a straight smile line. And I have one of those, but I don't really use them that much. Only when I really want it to come out like really, really like perfect. But no one's perfect, so. It's all right with me. And plus, even if it's not straight, you're still going to put a line through it, so that's going to straighten it out. So, once you have that done, and this looks great on short nails also, you're just going to let this dry, and when we come back, we're just going to add the sparkles. So, stay tuned. Okay, so once it's dry, you're going to get any sparkly nail polish that you have. I'm just using my NYC, and it's called um, Stary Silver Glitter. So I keep reading the name of this. Anyway, so you're going to open the cap. And you're not going to use this thick brush because that is just too thick to put on the nail. Instead, you're going to use a detailed brush. It has a thin line like that. Or you could use like Art Deco or something that already has glitter in it. So you're just going to dip it in. Okay. Don't get too much because then you're going to put like some weird stuff all over it. So then, I'm just going to put that throughout the nail. I don't want any of those gems there. Okay. 
So that already has a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can really see that, but I don't know. It has some there. And then you're going to let that dry a little bit. Not too much, because you still want a little bit tacky, but not, you know, not that much, like I said. And plus, you're also going to clean your brush, because you're going to be using it again. Now, I have the 2A brush. It has that one there. It has that one there. So, yeah, just get a cotton ball, like that. And make sure it has, like, a little bit of nail polish remover on it, so you can remove it. And then you're going to dip it into acetone for a while. That way the brush is still soft and it won't get all hard. So when we come back, we're going to apply our silver nail polish. Stay tuned. Okay, so now that's basically drying, we're going to get our silver nail polish and take our same brush again and dip it. Don't take too much. And you're just going to slide it across the nail. So now I have the silver one like that. Just gonna be like that. So that's basically all that you do. There's really not much to it. Um, personally, I love this design. Let me fix that right there. Hold on. Okay. Now, you don't have, like, try not to make the line really, really thick or really, really dark because you want it to look simple and light and really girly. Well, not girly, but, like, just really pretty. Now, in the middle, it has gems in it. So, I'm probably going to put a gem, but I'm not going to do that on a fake nail because I don't want to waste them. And unless I'm doing it on a real person or myself, then I just won't bother. But then all you're going to do is just take a gem and apply it right in the middle of the nail. And it's so easy because all you have to do is just, like, you know, randomly pick a gem. And then take a toothpick and dump it, in, well not dump it, but take a little bit of a top coat from it. Apply it on the nail and then stick your toothpick into the top coat and then just grab onto the gem and then just place it in there. And press it down a little bit and then it'll just stick and then you put your top coat over it. So that is just basically how you're going to do the design. This is how mine came out, which is a better view. And I really love this. It's so simple, so easy, and adorable. You could do this in any color you want. You could do it in turquoise, anything. And I really like red because, I don't know, I just think it's such a pretty color. I love it because it looks so rich. So, yeah. So that's how basically you're supposed to do that, and then you're just going to put the gem in. So please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sure a lot of people know how to do this, and they have. But I just wanted to try it out, and yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, like I said. And yeah, I might have a contest soon, so that might be cool. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Please enjoy. Bye. Oh, and one more for, one more thing I almost forgot. Um, if you have any requests at all, I would love to do them. Seriously, it is no problem at all, and I would love to. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, again, for like the third time, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye.